Greetings to you this day. This is Michelle Strickland, and I'm coming to you today with my daily theology lesson. It's my daily meditation that I do. I record it and release it because maybe somebody else out there can get something out of it. I just want you to never give up on yourself. Never give up on yourself. If you have yourself, you have everything. You can always rebuild after that. You know, find your hope, find your love, find your joy, find your peace, find it. Never give up on yourself. As rough as it gets, I know it gets, it's hard out there for a lot of people. It's rough. It is. But never give up on yourself. Never give up. Love yourself first. Love yourself first. And make it easier for you to love other people. You know, choose God this day. The bad guys, they sin. The good guys, we sin. We all sin. It's, it's whom you serve. Choose God this day. For those of you who are just tuning into my channel, I, 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 uh, Meditate on the three major religions, the, the Bible, uh, the Quran, and uh, a Buddhist text called The Shape of Suffering. And I'm reading everything cover to cover, every word, and I'm not going to censor it. I'm going to go kind of quick today. I'm really tired today, so I kind of look a mess, but uh, uh, I didn't put any eyeshadow on or lipstick today but because I'm really tired. But... The extra sound I didn't ask for it, but that's okay. I'm monitored. Anyway, um, I'm I'm picking it up at uh, I'm still I'm still in ch at Matthew chapter I'm at chapter tw twelve, and it's a it's a long chapter, so I may I'm not gonna probably read all the verses, and then I'll finish it up on on the rotation on I think it's Saturday. Anyway. At that time, Jesus went on the Sabbath day through the corn, and his disciples went up, went and hungered, and began to pluck the ears of the corn and and to eat. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto him, Behold, thy disciples do that which is not lawful to do upon the Sabbath day. But he said unto them, Have ye not read what David did when he was hungered, and they that were with him? How he entered into the house of God and did eat the, sh the shoe bread, which was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them which were with him, but only for the priests? Or have you not read in the law how that on the Sabbath days the priests in the temples profaned the Sabbath and the blameless? But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. But if ye had known what this meaneth, I will have mercy and not sacrifice. You will have condemned the, the guiltless. For the Son of Man is Lord even on the Sabbath. Excuse me. For the Son of Man. Excuse me. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. And when he was departed thence, he went into the synagogue. And behold, there was a man which had his hand withered. And they asked him, say, saying, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days that they might accuse him? And he said unto them, What man shall there be among you that shall have one sheep, and if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, will he not lay hold on it and lift it out? How much then is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore it, it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath days. Then saith he to the man, Stretcheth forth thy hand. And he stretched it forth, and it was restored whole like the other. Then the Pharisees went out and held a council against him, how they might destroy him. But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew himself from thence. And great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all, and charged them that they should not make him known, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Behold my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved, and whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and he shall show, he shall shew judgment to Gentiles. And he shall not str strive nor cry, neither shall any hear his voice in his, excuse me, excuse me. He shall not strive nor cry, neither shall any man hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed shall he not break, and smoking flax shall he not quench, till he set forth judgment unto victory. And in his name shall the Gentiles trust. 
and he was brought unto him one possessed with the devil blind and dumb and he healed him insomuch that the blind and the dumb both spake and saw and all the people were amazed and said is not this the son of david but when the pharisees heard it they said this fellow doth not cast out devils but the but by Beelzebub, the prince of the devils. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do you children cast them out? Therefore, they shall be the, sh the judges. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come unto you. Or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house? He that is not with, excuse me, he that is not with me is against me. He that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven. Excuse me. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by his fruits. O generation of vipers, how can ye being evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. That's serious, people. Then certain of the scribes and the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we will see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil an adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of ne ne Nevea shall rise in judgment with his generation and shall condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonas, and behold, a a greater than Jonas is here. The queen of the south shall rise up in judgment with his with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from, from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh him, excuse me, then goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in a dwell, excuse me, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this, excuse me, even so shall it also unto this wicked generation. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood where out, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. And he answered and said unto the, to him that told him, Who is my mother, and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples, and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For who, whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. Remember to smile this day anyway and reach out to one person at a time, one person at a time, one person at a time, okay?